Hello YouTube, I just wanted to create a quick tutorial on how to install Yuri's Revenge on a Steam Deck on SteamOS. Uh, this was one of my childhood favorite games, so I thought, you know, other people want to play it too. I posted some pictures on Facebook and everyone was asking, how did you get that to install? So I thought I'd create a quick tutorial. Uh, I got a shout out to some of the other uh, members of the Steam Deck community who showed me how to do this. So, I'm sorry I don't remember your names, but uh, I didn't figure this out myself. I was guided along uh, by some very nice people who really know what they're doing. So, I'm just going to do a proof of concept here real quick, just to show you what you're going to get. We're using the EA app as the installer for the base game, and we're using CNCNet to uh, make the game compatible. So, you can see here, everything's working, everything's smooth. Uh, I'm not having any glitches, no graphics problems. Uh, it's it's very reliable. It's very good. Uh, we, I, I've played this game uh, locally with my brother and some friends, and we had a really good skirmish together. And it was a lot of fun. So, uh, with fr without any further ado, let's go ahead and show you how to do it. And uh, first thing you have to do is get out of here. So, without further ado, let's get started. What you gotta do is go to desktop mode. So you do that by hitting the Steam button, switch to desktop mode. Alright, that didn't take too long. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna download two things. First, if you haven't already, in desktop mode, you wanna download Firefox. You can do that from the uh, little store here. It should be in the most popular thing, Firefox, right there. So download yourself a browser. Open it up, and you're going to want to do uh, EA App. The first link is the one to do. You're going to download the EA App. I've already done that. And the second download you're going to want to do is the uh, cncnet.org. Go there. You want to go to Downloads, Yuri's Revenge, Download CNCNet, and Play Online. So you're going to make those two downloads. Next you're going to open up Steam. And you're going to go to Games. Add a non-Steam game to my library. Browse. Do the downloads. And you're going to do EA App Installer. Alright. And then add selected program. Go to your library. You'll see it there. Ignore my plethora of unplayed games. Manage properties. Compatibility. Force it to run in compatibility mode. Proton experimental. Play. So this is going to get uh, the EA app installed for you. Now, of course, you have to have Yuri's Revenge. You have to own Yuri's Revenge. And Red Alert 2 in the EA app, so you have to have that purchased before you can do this, or you can purchase it within the app here, I suppose. I haven't done that. I purchased it a long time ago. I'm not going to buy it again. This is like the fifth copy of the game I own. So, I'm just going to enter your email address and password. Navigate to your library. Download your Revenge. Alright, so you can see it's downloaded. It has launch and dismiss. I'm going to dismiss. I don't really, I'm not going to try, even try to open it because it crashes. So we're going to do is exit. If you hit the X instead of exit, it will actually shrink to your taskbar. And if it does that, you'll have to hit exit, uh, you know, cancel over here and tell it to close the game. Uh, and that's important because what we're going to do next is change the target for this uh, shortcut. So it's really important to change the target and not try and create another non-Steam game because 
if you do another non-steam game it's not going to work correctly and it won't save the files in the uh, correct directory so you're going to go to cncnet here's your revenge installer okay and you're going to have to put quotation marks in here because it forgets to do it and hit play going to accept install it to the default directory all right so I'm gonna hit yes I'm going to start configuring my settings I'm gonna switch to 1280 by 800 and that's the only thing I'm gonna do for now it's gonna restart it fails to restart so hit stop okay that's fine now we can't run the installer again because it's already installed so what we're gonna do is go to properties and change the target again to where it's installed now this is a little bit tricky because it's installed in a funny place. You're going to want to go home. Uh, if you haven't already uh, said to show hidden files, click on the little button up here and hit show hidden files. And then you'll get this file right here, this folder, .local. So you're going to want to enter that. Go to share. Steam. You're going to go to Steam Apps comp at data and here you're going to see a bunch of things or you might not see hardly anything in that in here at all so this is your uh, proton has created fictitious c drives for every game you install so go to the most recent one you can see i'm spending my new year's evening doing this uh, it'll be the most recent so if you sort by date you can see the most recent one is the one you just created which is the EAF so do not rename it it'd be convenient if we could rename it but I, I think that'll break it so you want to open this open PXF drive C program files EA games command and conquer red alert 2 and you're gonna find CNC net years revenge launcher .exe. open that up all right, don't forget to put the quotation marks back in here. And this time, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to copy this and paste it in the start in because the start in tells it where to search. And we're going to delete the file name because it's going to search this folder for this file name. All right, hit play. All right, check it for updates. It says, oh, there's an update. Yes, I'd like to update, please. All right, so I'm just gonna demonstrate that it is indeed working correctly. Just gonna start a skirmish map here. There it is. Everything's too fast, but that's okay. We can adjust the speed later. Click it around. Everything's good to go. So, uh, if you want to make custom artwork to make it all pretty, what you're gonna want to do is just go to Google, and you want to search for. Uh, Yuri's Revenge Background. Uh, you're going to want at least three pictures. What you're going to want is one that is kind of uh, like a like a background, like a uh, 16 by 9 type background. So that's uh, we're going to we're going to use this. Let's use it. Let's download image. Oh, uh, let's save image as. Okay, untitled JPG, fine. Uh, the next one we want is box art. Okay, so I used this one already, so I'm going to use a different one so we can see. So let's use this box art, save it as. Uh, another strange name, JPG. And the next thing we want is a logo, uh, PNG. I'm going to go ahead and save this one, and that's a funny name, PNG, okay. So I'm going to set custom background, and it's going to be untitled. There it is. I picked a really low res picture, I guess. Set custom logo. I'm going to change this to all files, PNG, and that's going to be this top one. There you go. And then we're going to put it manage properties and change the logo here too. And change the name. Yuri's. Alright. 
So now when I look in my list here, it's all the way down here, Yuri's, and it has that little logo there. I'd recommend a, uh, like that little Yuri's logo instead of this one, because this, this one you can't read. Uh, if you go to the library home, there's another couple of box arts that I would highly recommend changing, because they're the ones that show up in, in uh, SteamOS. If I go down to Yuri's, you'll see this box art is blank. That's the one I said that we want as a, a kind of a vertical. So set custom artwork. Uh, pick that. Open. There it is. And that's kind of how it's going to show up in SteamOS. Now you see when I hover over it, and there's another box art to the right that is blank. And that is the most recent game. It shows up as that 16 by 9 I said to download. So that's going to be the same as the background. Set custom artwork. And set it as that. Hit open. There it is. So now it'll be nice and pretty when we're in Steam OS gaming mode. So let's go ahead and switch and see if it works. Alright, so we're back in gaming mode. So we've got this is our artwork that we created. Uh, let me add two and let's put it in the Command and Conquer collection. So I created that collection, it's a custom collection. So if I go to my library, non-Steam games. So it'll show up in here. So here's that one I just installed just now. And you can see it's right there. And here we go. We're playing Yuri's Revenge in gaming mode. So I'm just gonna show that it's working. Start another skirmish. Change the speed. It was way too fast before. And yeah, turn off server weapons. Launch game. And here we are, playing Yuri's Revenge on a Steam Deck. Alright, now it's all well and good until you, you try to use your controls, because the default controls for Steam Deck on Steam OS are for controller, not for mouse and keyboard. So we're going to go to the controller settings, and we're going to fix that. We're going to change this to a uh, keyboard WASD mode. Okay, that'll get you use of your mouse via the trackpad. So here I am using the trackpad in gaming mode and it's working. It's obviously not as good as a real mouse, but hey, you know what? It works. Yeah. Another trick I like to use is using the left trackpad as a radial menu for all the numbers 1 through 9 and 0. Uh, that way I can assign units uh, the number values and I don't have to go click on them individually, but uh, you can look that up elsewhere. This was just a guide on how to get it installed, and here it is, running. A-OK. -okay. So I hope you enjoyed, and uh, Happy New Year.